front, but how you guys doing out there? All right, um, I figure I had a little time. I'm going to make a quick little video here. Quick video. My videos are never quick. Even my quick videos are long videos. Um, I just wanted to share something to, with you today that I picked up. Right? This real fast. And I thought it was a really good idea. I found this uh, Roby Tech 4, right? Uh, it's like a little uh, construction site portable alarm system. Which, I, you know, and it was on sale. I picked up with uh, $29. Right? And um, I thought this thing was a cool thing. You know why? Because it's a portable alarm. You know? So uh, my thoughts on this, I, I looked at this thing, I was like, well, that would be great if you're ever out somewhere and you got to maybe watch your back or something, or, or you're in your house and you just need you need to cover a certain area that's not being covered, you know, you got no power or anything like that. This thing definitely comes in handy. Check them out. They're called Tech 4. They get them, you know, and uh, they're made by uh, Roby, right? And um, I guess if you look online, you probably can find them pretty cheap too, but, but for 29 bucks, you couldn't go wrong. And it has... Uh, what it says on the box, it has, bu, 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 provides over 800 square feet of motion detection coverage. Woo! You know? So in any way, A, but it has a, a chime, it has a alarm, right? You can arm it, and it comes with a little mode control too. And it runs on a, a little re rechargeable battery. And it says it could give you up to... Uh, 12 days of continuous scanning. 12 days of continuous scanning. And it covers a whole wide section, 800 square feet. That's a lot. And it says up to 30 feet. So anybody comes within 30 feet of your area, this thing is going to go off. That's a long way you can set it. Right? There it goes. And it takes a little time to arm itself. Right? Let me show you. Let it arm itself and I'll move around a little bit so it goes off. But my idea with this thing was... It, it's a great thing to, to fill in the gaps, you know, for security around your house or, you know, or if you're, you're, you're out somewhere. Even if you're, like, camping or something, you could basically make this thing cover an area or you buy a couple of them and there it yeah, goes, whoa, see that? that? That's the alarm. Well, I want to make it go off again. Shit. All right, yeah, it's going to arm itself. Let's see what happens. All right. But anyway, if you're, you're, you're camping or you got a couple of these, you can really make a nice little perimeter set up there. Nice wrap. That is definitely wrap. Oh, there you go, and you can shut it off with your little remote control here. Or you could set the whole thing right here, and you could program a code word so nobody could disarm it on you. But, you know... I only bought it, it's a cool thing of just having a little uh, little battery operated little uh, security device that's mobile, you know, and where this thing is going to go, it's going to go right in my prep box, you know, and I, I got to make a point on having a little prep box with some, like main, I got one here, I show, it, it basically has all my main stuff, you know, this, like, this is the box that will go to with all my little gadgets and stuff, remember this one, right, remember that one? There's that little, uh, oh, God, I took the batteries out of it, all right? This is, if you watch my videos, I showed you how to, oh, I took all the batteries out. But this was the alarm system I made with the light on it, with the trip wire and the, you know? So check out my videos. It's a uh, trip wire, it's called. Check it out. i show you how to make these things. It's real cheap to make with a line. But this definitely could, it's handy too, man. You don't got to run any lines or anything. And for 29 bucks to cover like 800 square feet, I'm definitely buying a few more of these. Maybe, maybe two more I'm going to buy. You know, and they're good. You can move them around, like I said, and everything like that. So check them out, guys. You know, I happened to see them when I was in Home Depot. I said, well, you know, as preppers, we're always looking at things in a different light. So it's a construction alarm thing where you could guard a construction area so nobody goes and gets hurt. I'm thinking to guard against the zombies, right? So that was that. And, uh... What else I got today? I broke down a little bit, you know, basically I got to use it for work, and everybody's telling me it makes your life so much simpler and everything, but I bought an iPad, one of these things, one of these little gadgets, you know, pretty cool, you know, I'm not a big tech guy, and you know, I'm not into all this, look, look, there you go, you got them cat, look, one ugly guy's on there, and those are mice over here, you know, there's Lil Buck. 
<laughs> He's talking about blog TV tonight or something. Anyway, but I bought one of these things basically for my work and to keep me and my wife a little bit more organized. She always had one. And I, and I finally bought that and bought one. But what came to my mind, I really thought this thing was going to be cool. I'm downloading maps into there. Maps of all my area, my bug out house. I'm going to download all do-it-yourself stuff offline. You know, East Coast Prepper has that website, uh, the Prepper site, where he's got a lot of these uh, files you can download. And I'm going to definitely download them and just fill this thing up. You know, use it for work, but I'm going to fill it up with a lot of prepping stuff, you know. All that do-it-yourself kit. Even the most important stuff, the, like the medical... Uh, uh, medical guides, you know, how to treat wounds and stitches and burns and everything. And I figured, you know, if I had anything stored in this thing, right, it'd be an easy thing just to go to. Solar flare hits, I know people are going to say, oh, it's not solar flare proof, right? And I'm not one for making a fairway cage, and, you know, I, you know, maybe one day I will, but if it does, it does. <laughs> what am I going to do? But it, it's good for, like, an emergency, and that's what my mind's at now with this iPad, you know. They're expensive and everything, and it just was a little investment to make my life easier at work. But with your prepping mindset, you know, you're always thinking of other things you can do with it. I'm going to stop that thing with all kind of prepping files, you know, anything I can find, right? And uh, that's about it. I just wanted to make this video touch base with everybody out there. Right? Hey, you know what else I'm doing today? I got I got my uh, my little jaws, my, my Canon jaws, right? You know, I never really fool around with sprouts, and I was watching a couple of videos about people sprouting, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a sprout gun, right? I'm going to maybe take maybe four cans, I'm going to start with some lentil sprouts, right? And they had those little sprout tops you could buy to put in there, the screen mesh, right? But I figured I got some, some old screen laying around, it's aluminum screen, you know, and I'm just going to cut my own circles and make my own little mesh, right? So I'll, I'll take the in, inside piece out. And uh, cut some uh, pieces off of here and make my own little mesh. Why am I going to buy them? I had this screen laying around. That's another thing about being a prepper. Look what you got around. There's tons of things you can make things. Why Why keep on buying stuff? You know, I don't know how much the meshes are, but I can imagine they're like, uh, I don't know, five bucks for, for some of them. Hey, that's five bucks I could buy some food for myself. Oh, no, what else I bought too? Wait, hold on. Hold on! Right? As I'm watching the, the sprouting videos, right? That people don't sprout. They show this one guy. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. I just was browsing videos. He, uh, I bought these things. These are jelly strainer bags, right? For $1.99. Right? But they, what they had, what they have online too, is look, it's like a big bag. Oh, it comes with two of them. Oh, I scored out. So look, a dollar each, right? Online, he was showing these sprout bags, and he said they were like 12 bucks each for a sprout bag. You put the seeds in there, and what you do, you just tie this part up, and you dip it in water, and then you hang it and let it all drip out, and then your sprouts would start sprouting in your bag. I seen these things for $1.99. I didn't even know they came with two of them. Right now, I got four of them. So I'm going to put some sprouts in here and test this out. It's $1.99 for these jelly strainer bags. Right, and see if I could grow sprouts in here also. Right, I'm gonna make the sprout jars, sprouts. I'm gonna have sprouts coming out of my ears. But hey, it's another fun thing to do. I did sprouts before, and they came out pretty good. You know, I I, I fooled around with one jar, but now I'm gonna make a nice little garden of different kinds. Right, and uh, in about three four days, I'll do another video. I'll show you how my sprouts came out. All right, and how the jelly bags work. Instead of buying that twelve buck bag, a sprout bag, what's the difference? You know. It's a porous bag. The water will drain out of this, too. There you go. That's what it's designed for, the jelly stuff. All right, guys. So uh, you just got to remember, you know, like I got this box over here that I put all my little gadgets in and stuff like that. You want to make a nice little organized box for all your little gadgets, right? Remember, anything electronic, take the batteries out because, you know, they can leak uh, acid, right? But you want to make a little box because if something does happen, you don't want to be running around like, like a pothead looking for rolling papers. You know, you just want to be able to get that box and get yourself set up real fast. So remember, be, think, think about being organized, you know, especially when you're prepping. It's really important to be organized. You have one box of all your security stuff, one box of your, you know, maybe your cooking stuff and everything. You can buy the Tupperwares and stuff. This box, I have a bunch of some lanterns, some 
all little mixed things, right? The important thing you do have laying around, I got gas siphon up. Very important. If shit hits the fan, there'd be cars laying all over the place. You could get gas. Go around, sneak around, start siphoning gas on the bandit cars. You don't want to steal. All right? So that's it. But, um, what did I say? Pothead? <laughs> So, you know why I said that? I went out the other night, right? Uh, and I have a funny story. Let me tell you a story. Let me just put this stuff away and I'll tell you the story. All right, so I'm going to share the story with you, right? So, I didn't go, I, I'm a home guy, you know? I stay home a lot. I got a couple of friends that they keep on busting my chops. Come on, come on, come on, come watch the game at my friend's house. She's having a party, right? So, you know, I broke down. I said, no, why not, right? So I go to this guy's house, he's having this party and stuff. There's a lot of people there I don't even know, right? So uh, my, my friends are there, they drink a couple of beers and everything. I was like, all right, uh, right? they're watching the fall game, have a good time, right? And then I'm looking at these three guys, right? They're hanging out, you know, and, and they get up and say, oh, we're going to go outside for a little while. Anybody want to come? And like, like, like three of them left, right? And I'm looking at them and say, ah, oh, they're probably going out to me. Smoke a little weed or something, I don't know. But hey, if you, you're into weed, that's your, that's your thing, it's not mine. Right, so about maybe 15 minutes later, these guys come come back in the house and they're like, like all oh, like, <laughs> look like somebody hit him in the face with a shovel. <laughs> and it's the only thing I can explain when they walked in the like, right? So it gets worse, right? So I'm like, oh man, these guys, hi man. So uh, I'm sitting there with my friend, I'm hanging out. Now we're in the kitchen, and now the three guys are in the kitchen. Actually, not the three guys, one of them are in the kitchen. Right? And uh, I'm walking by him, and then I notice he has something in his hair. Right? And I'm like, uh, hey, dude, you got something in your hair. Right? And he goes, he goes, look something, what? And I, and I pull it out, and I open it, I look at it, and it was rice. Right? And I was like, oh, I said, you got rice in your hair. Right? So he looks at me, and he looks at the rice, then he looks back at me. This is where it gets funky. Then he looks back at the rice, he's like, oh, 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 oh. And he starts like, like jumping up and like hitting his head. I'm like, what, what happened? Right? So the only thing I could think of was like with his marijuana so brain, right? When he looked at my hand, right? It wasn't rice he was seeing. <laughs> it had to be something else. And he's wigging and his friend comes in. He's like, dude, which one? Because oh, I got some bugs in my hair. And he's like, wigging. His other friend comes in. They got him near the sink now. <laughs> so he said, no, they calmed him down. He's like, right? I look over. I'm like, I, I'm like standing. I was like, what the hell does that happen? Right? And I, I look at the guy right, who was wigging out. And his friends are holding him. He's like this. Like, like, he got, like, traumatized. He's like, when his, when his friend turns around to me, and then he told his friend, that he said, I got lice in my hair. Right? His friend turned around and said, not cool, man. Why'd you tell him that? I said, he didn't tell him he had lice in his hair. I said, he, he had, I, not right. I said, he had lice in his hair. Right? It was nuts. But he was like, it's just the whole way, the whole thing happened. I was like, Get out of here. And the guy's like, like, that's not cool, man. Told him that. I said, I didn't tell him that he had bugs in his hair. I said, that was his, I got the rice. I had rice in his hair. Right? Whatever he's seen in my hand, I have no idea. Right? But when he looked at my hand, it was like, like, like his fear went over his face. It was like, the rice play looked like bugs to him or something. And he was jumping. And for some reason, I don't know, when people got bugs on him or something, Jumping up and down and leaving, leaving gravity for a minute maybe helps get the bugs off you. But this guy was bouncing around and he was. <laughs> and the best was when I looked over at him when his friends were holding him like they were like cradling him. He was like. <laughs> That's why I stay home. All right, I stay out of trouble. Right. So anyway, that was the story I just wanted to share with you. It was like, this is the craziest part of my night. Anytime I go somewhere, something nutty happens. Right? Rice. It was rice, not rice, dude. All right, let's get back. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you. And that's, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that story. Right? But uh, it was a crazy night. So, you know, crazy things happen. Comes with a little uh, rechargeable battery and everything like that. What was that? All right. So it comes with a little rechargeable battery. And this is Tech 4 by uh, by Roby. All right, model number. Let me see if I get a model number for you. All right, whatever it is, look look for look on their website and stuff like that. But definitely a cool little uh, 
a security device for you. Right? And like I showed you, I'm going to make some sprout and stuff. It comes with, uh, the Roby thing comes with the alarm. Alright, there you go. Alright, so I hope you get a good look at it. Check them out, they're pretty cool. Alright, and I got my bags for sprouts. I'm going to let you know how that all goes. Alright, I just want to touch base with everybody here, but uh, I'll see you soon. I got some videos in the works right now, and I'm trying to get out there, but uh, I'll be uh, talking to you guys real soon. Live for today, prep for tomorrow. Hey.